How's it going boys? Welcome back to another brand new update in Dota. And today, it's a small update, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but it's something nonetheless. And this update took me forever to update because for some reason my Steam would not update it automatically. I had to like verify, like delete everything and it, it was stupid, but it took a while. But anyways, we finally got the update. It's the summer update for Dota Plus. June 1st, holy shit, it's almost two months until TI. And we got Pudge, Hoodwink, the two classic duels. Uh, so, whatever, blah, blah, blah. This doesn't really matter. So, essentially, we're getting the high five taunt. We're getting, we're getting the guild banners back. I don't mean, the guild banner is kind of like, meh. But the high five taunts are pretty fucking good. Honestly... I remember the challenge when you were supposed to high five someone like 500 times to get like fucking uh, summer battle pass shit. And that was so, such a tedious task. Honestly, you, you just need to go in the lobby with your friend and just go in the turbo game and high five there. Because honestly, no one's going to fucking high five that many times. And this is kind of sad in a way. Because I am not sure why they're doing this update, guys. If you think about it. Why the fuck is Valve adding high five to Dota Plus when they can add it to the Battle Pass? Now, a lot of you might be like, oh, they want people to buy the Battle Pass. Not the Battle Pass, I mean, they want people to buy the uh, Dota Plus. But the thing is, here's the problem. I don't think they're even going to release the Battle Pass this year. It's kind of sad because one... Usually, if they were to release it, they would have already done it in May, and they still haven't done it. And two, last year's prize pool still have not been used in the tour in the TI, so there's like no reason to like get more this year. Essentially, they want to save everyone's money until next year, right? I mean, you can only milk so much money out of uh, one group of players until they just be like they until you just tell you they just tell you the fuck off. Because we all know Valve is fucking greedy with their Battle Pass releases. Alright, every year you gotta pay more money to get more shit. Every year I'm paying more money. But you know, everyone still has a life. And if you milk them too hard, maybe they will go bankrupt. And then they just can't fucking give you money. You know, they're taking care of their players is what I would mean. Anyways, I think they are adding the high five. Because people loved high fiving in, in Dota. It's just like fun. It's kind of like a little gimmick thing. One, this will be, if they don't release the Battle Pass, this will be good for the Dota Plus because, you know, people don't really buy this shit. And if you do, the only reason why you buy Dota Plus is to avoid players, by the way. Yeah, that's the only reason why you buy Dota Plus. Now, this is kind of like one less reason, one more reason to buy Dota Plus, although it's pretty shitty reason. I mean, no one's going to buy a Battle Pass just to high five people. But, you know, this might just be the icing on the cake that changes your mind. And now you get a new seasonal treasure, refreshed uh, guild quests, and blah, blah, blah. So actually, I want to see what the treasures are, actually. But yeah. And uh, yeah, so the high five stuff, you get that. Uh, Dual plus seasonal, yeah, basically it told you everything. I kind of told you everything. Now, there is a seasonal quest update and guild reward. So you can get 115k shards over the course of the season. So essentially, if you're new and you just bought the battle pass, yeah, you want to get this thing because obviously, like, you know, it helps you to get more shards and whatnot. I know people who had the battle pass for Dota Plus for like forever. I keep seeing battle pass. The Dota Plus for like forever, they have like two mil shards and it's just like pretty insane how they have so many. Like how much Dota have you played in your life? Holy shit um but yeah and there's some guild rewards you get some emoticons you get some sprays honestly who the fuck use these things like uh, i don't know I, I personally don't use any the only one i do use is the chat wheel like all three of these are pretty nice they're all like really cool this one's really cool i like this one and uh yeah a platinum tier and i'm i am in a platinum tier guild so you know that's good and the uh, last thing but not least, we play an an Annie Major. What the fuck does Annie Major mean? Like, I, I actually don't understand what that means. And the road to the international. So obviously, the tournament is about to start. The last major and the teams, the DPC is basically done, right? And then everything, everything. Wait, what the fuck is this? The dates for each qualifier as follows. So 
first they they put the shittiest region in the in the beginning, the second shittiest region in the second place. Actually, wait, no. Why the fuck are they making it like this? Why is why is NA and Sia at the same time? Oh, I know because they want they want the time zones to be different. So you can like so they're gonna be streaming NA and C games, and because they're different time zones, so you can like if you're from C, you can watch C games. If you're from NA, you can watch NA games. And then, you know, NA can watch EU games, and then C people can watch CN games. Like, they're actually spacing. Hey, yo, that's actually kind of smart. That's pretty smart. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, this is, so they want to, like, you know, exit out the time zone. Because if you do SA and NA both at the same time, like, who the fuck is going to watch NA fucking, like, 1 a.m. in the morning? Unless if you're a psychopath, if you're, like, from C server or whatever. Yeah, so basically, TI is about to happen. Everyone's getting super horny for TI. August 10th to 15th. Wait, it's five days? Wait, why? Isn't it like 10 days? Dude, this is wrong, right? Air? Hello? Only 10, 5 days? Wait, can you still buy tickets to that shit? I don't know. I don't know. But anyways. Let's look at the, uh, what kind of, um, things, requests are there. Summer quest. Yeah, so they basically changed it to Dota Plus shards instead of the, um, Battle Pass. Yeah, they're not, they're definitely not releasing Battle Pass this year. But they still one they I I bought I bought the level one thousand. First of all, my battle pass is not showing up here. And two, I bought the fucking uh I got to like level one thousand and they're not even giving me the uh companion that I want, like the baby the Aegis of Immortality or some shit. They're not even giving it to me. Like that's a they first of all they fucking scam me. It's already been a year. And two this is literally the battle pass, but the shittier version. And they still haven't given us Spectre Arcana, like Dude, holy shit, my Spectre win rate is bad. But anyways, once I have the Arcana, they're gonna buff Spectre. So, I'm gonna win a lot of games, because usually that's what they do. They buff the hero, so they so you're more compelled to buy the Arcana set. And when you buy the Arcana set, they're gonna make some money, boys. They're gonna make some bank. Now, yeah, I'm kinda ready. I really need to get my Spectre win rate up. So, um, yeah, let's see here. Let's look at the treasures. Probably gonna do a treasure opening. Hold on. Let's see. Let's just review the treasures real quick. CKPA. Ew, what the fuck is this? This is disgusting. This one's kind of whack. I mean, this is just like any other CK set. OD set is fucking cool. I want the OD set. Holy fuck. I want the OD set, actually. Oh, this one's actually really... Dude, this is the Skeleton King set. This one's fucking sick. Alright, this one's fucking dog shit. It looks hella whack. I like the sword, though. Uh, kind of cool. Trent one looks fucking... There's no difference, honestly, in my opinion. The Huskar one. So now he's a clown now, apparently. He's the Ronald McDonald boy. Uh, okay. Not much change, I guess. The whack-ass weapon. Uh, Storm one looks pretty cool. I kind of want the Storm one. Honestly, not like that cool, but it's okay. And this one's kind of meh. Whatever. The courier is pretty nice though. I want the courier. So let's just do some pack opening because why not? I just got my Aegis today. Might be in the mail. Oh, you just got it today? Damn, dude. That is pretty good. Let's just buy six in a row. So someone actually got the Aegis treasure today, which means I'll probably get it too. I'm going to check the mail recently. Hopefully I get it, boys. And hopefully... It doesn't get lost on the way or some shit. Anyways. First one, we're gonna let her roll it out. If we get the uh, pet on, on the first try, it means that we're gonna reach Immortal Rank. Okay, no we're not. Sad. So, we got the shittiest fucking skin ever. I did not want this, but... I mean, I'm probably gonna get everything anyway at the end. We got a CK one, that's pretty good. I always wanna collect every set possible. OD, sick. Sven, give me the Wraith King one. Give me the Wraith King or the Storm one. Wraith King? Please, Wraith King? Fuck you, game. Well, I'm probably gonna get them all anyway, because I'm I'm gonna rack up some shards very soon. Let's see what the quests are, actually. What is the easiest one? 150 matches, gain 30 Dota plus hero levels. Holy fuck, these, these are quite a lot. Renews on September. Okay. Oh, no. That's my renew date. 
Oh wait, what? So the same day I renew it, the same day the season ends? That is pretty interesting. Um... Yeah, commend 60 players, so I'll definitely be commending people, getting a rampage. D Ward, win a match MVP, get first blood, win 30 matches. Oh my god, I'm probably never going to play Party Q though. Win Battle Cup. I need to win Battle Cup. Anyways, um, let's check out the sets real quick. So... I don't really like these sets, to be honest. I, I, I'll check out the... CK set, I guess. I mean, this is the normal. This is my old CK. This is the new one. Sure, I'll use this one, I guess. Honestly, I like to mix and match these things. Yeah, I like to mix and match these things. Maybe I'll mix and match it later. I want to see the PA set. I like to mix and match shit. Let's see if there's anything worthy to put here, alright? So first of all, we're gonna use the Arcana for that. There's no question, right? To the head, can it has to be this. Now, oh, okay. Maybe it's not so bad. Wait. I changed my mind, guys. This set is actually fucking sick. Wait, I need to get this item though. Oh, that covers up the tits though. That's a bit of an issue. But I mean, it's not the permanent version because I'm going to eventually get the uh, this thing. So it's whatever. But currently, I think... And because there's no battle pass, I'll probably just buy this item. Um, This item, I guess. I'll use it for now. Can you stop fucking moving, dude? I just want to look at the set real quick. This is... Yeah, I'll say this is better. What about the belt? Dude, so this is the one I used to have. And now this essentially covers the only area that matters. Whatever. It does have a little weird dagger on the side, though. I don't know if I rate that. It's okay. Uh, this one's fine. I'm gonna find I'll use this for now. I think this is kind of cool, I guess. Not bad. Just the face is ugly. But anyways, OD is the best set for him. Let's see, OD. I, I, I need an OD set, actually. This is my OD set. Look at this gay-ass set. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Give me this set, dude. This is so nice. This is the shit. Well, oh, I don't have any immortal items for OD, and they're hella expensive, so I'm just gonna use this for OD. Huskar set, what else is there? Naga Siren set, Sven set, Brewmaster. Let's check out the Sven and Brewmaster one. I don't think I'm gonna use the Sven set, though. No, I'm gonna check the Sven and the, uh, what's the other one? Huskar, right? Huskar set. Yeah, I don't have a good Husker set. Definitely this one's the one I'm using. Yeah, this is much better. Yeah, he's a fully... He's a full-out clown now. This is actually really fucking cool. Um, Sven. I honestly think the Sven one's a bit of a meme. Yeah, it's ugly as fuck. I'm not gonna even... Uh, fine, I'll unpack it. I mean, I'm gonna do it anyway, right, eventually. Okay, so let's see the Pog one. So we're gonna use the sword for sure. The helm? We have to use the helm, the normal one. For the belt, though... Oh, this is actually kind of cool, but perhaps perhaps this is the way to go. I actually 
actually don't know. I think the old one's still better though, because this like kind of doesn't go in the same theme as it should. It doesn't really make sense. You know what I mean? It just it's not the same theme. It just doesn't make sense. But anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the Twitter. Check out the Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the everything and anything, boys. Have a very, very, very nice day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.